What? We had Tinker ban previous game, didn't we? Yeah, they did. Wait up, I'm struggling. Don't struggle, just put that Tinker there down. There is no Tinker, he doesn't exist. Tinker. Oh, found him. See ya. See ya. Looking for him. He's pretty... He's got a pretty, pretty good wraparound. Yeah, right they, the smoke's gonna dispel. Uh oh. I this should be your first, but I don't think there's any escape for Crystallize. He pops the war cry. It's not gonna do anything against the Blade Fury from Ace. Fisher to set it up, sets Ace up for the kill. Well, so look at this for Navi themselves. They do put the bat top. Oh, they, they put the trial in bottom. So they okay. they get they hit the dodge off. Yeah. All right. They, they get the dodge for now. We'll see if. He, if uh, Secret does want to react and continue to try and get that... General has to be careful one. top, though. He has Sticky Napalm, and they're going on him top right away with the stun, with the Fissure. He should go down here to the extra right clicks. Now uh, we saw this happen a couple of time, times in the lane in game one, and game two, it's a similar start. Yeah, mid one. Really getting shut down yeah. in that mid lane. I mean, sure, he's getting well, some of the XP, at least, yes. Yeah, with those denies from Benny, top lane. That is going to do a lot. That Level was a two Maladic. He's very that he is 100% gone. Oh. No stick charges. But if he pushes down too far, they have quite a lot of chase for him. And here we go. Oh, he looks to be in a bit of difficulties here. He is gone. Rockets will steal the, the app store. Can't really do anything to set up for any return fire. And with Puppy coming across as well. And Navi. As we're saying, can certainly play the farm game if they can get off this early hurdles. Be but, careful ooh, here. Cask, Fisher, oh, Maledict. Just stun. Yeah, it's it's going to buy time for Roger to fly away. Roger comes back in. That actually, I'm pretty sure that saved his life. They weren't definitely gonna, did, yeah. They weren't able to get any extra right clicks, and yeah. he took a ton of damage from that Maledict. Uh, we top lane exactly what I said to look out for. That lane is, is pretty much a no-go zone for, for a solo bat as soon as that six is hit on Jug. Ask a man is just there for Crystal Eye, so start to really step up the farm game. Roger gets Fissure blocked. Oh, he does indeed. They've got the cask and the Maledicts, and Roger ain't getting home out of that. He instantly, Too much skills, instantly skills the third point in Maledict just yep. in case, too. He was, who's holding it when they go for a kill? And on uh, extra centuries or dust, it's I guess always a bit of a financial win. He can, like, yeah, absorb top. Look, he's going to be one of the first culprits. If he's out, he's forcing the lasso. Yeah. Get him, though. Yeah, for sure. So then I could gonna come in and Going for the party, swaps him back into the flames. General will take down the app store. Hmm. Everyone just farming. Now the Midas is even queued up on Fada after he finishes up the Shadow Blade. Oh, Shadow Blade into Midas? Yep. Was it Fada the other day who built, picked up a Midas later on? No, oh, I'm thinking of, uh, I think it was Ace actually who built like Armlet into Midas. But now Fada is going to get grabbed up. This is an easy kill here for Navi. Yeah, they got the instant silence after the last though. No chance for Fada to react. Where's your Shadow Blade now, boy? Good pick up there from General. They even have sentries anyway for blinking for the creeps. Puppy might be the one to just die here, which would be Ooh. wouldn't be so bad for Secret here. Yes, an easy pick off if they get it. There will be a fisher, and in fact, with the Omni Slash, Secret looked to turn. Ooh. Roger is gone. Ace looking forward, and looking to see if he can set up for more. But General Fireflies up the cliff. Yeah. Will be safe. Yeah, Puppy, Puppy lives because that fisher from yapping. They don't want to run into this though. It's a shadow bladed Omni Knight scouting out. They spot Roger. Oh, they actually see General. Yeah, with straight that away with the Omni. They'll take him down. Gaps has got the control with the Echo Slam. Finding Roger. Does manage to fly away, but the Paralyzing Cast. Puppy with the shortest death ward he's casted. We'll, uh, we'll still get the kill, of course, with the, the night time. See if they can catch anyone out of this. They're looking towards Puppy. Jump for General. Does get a good lasso. Drags back the jug. Gaps will find some time. There comes the GA and the Repel onto Ace. Now he's concerned. Crystallize trying to chase down Puppy. Has he quite got the speed? Doesn't need it, because the rockets from Denji finish off the Witch Doctor. Secret now turning their attention towards General. I have the storm from mid one as he moves in for more. Fisher control, but Snakers with the save. Swords crystallize up to the high ground. Will cost him his life, but he does get crystallized back. Well, there are different spells that he can reflect. He's, they're smoked up again from Snakers. Ready to jump. Something here. General's got to be careful out, pokes him with a flame break, has the Firefly going in, does jump forward, gets the last immediately with Crystallize's damage, they destroy Ace, cut him down, swap backs down to mid one, mid one pops the BKB, Crystallize tries to chase but has to back up with the Stalin Link on him, Death Ward and Maledict will finish off Snakeo, but as we're seeing, you know, this, this jug sure, Ace has got a lot of offensive potential, but if he gets caught out like that, Crystallize will make very short work with him when the God Strength is up on Sven. Yeah. Pato wasn't there, so he's the only way that they can protect the Omni Knight. This is a scary team. 
There's I think no question about that. I think Nullifier is oh to get the jump here. They're going for Roger with the Echo Slam. Oh no! Yeah, oh no! Quick force step from General. Yeah, that's Echo down. Ace is continuing to dive in with a blink, and he does get the kill on Sun Echo. So they'll get something out of it. Look Dendi. at Fada. He's on top of Dendi. He is. Dendi can't get out of this one. The Fisher comes through. They'll chase Dendi down. They have the Lasso trying to hold them back, buying space for Dendi to TP out. Will work. Crystallize comes in. They save Dendi, but it costs General's life as well. And Crystallize now. He's trying to man fight, but Yabsol with the Enchant Totem and the Fisher holds Crystallize away and Na'Vi lose three. Aces persistence there to look for the fight. 14k gold lead, 15k experience lead. Oh boy. And with that, yeah, let's have the extra 12% degen aura. That and Shiva's guard makes it very hard for, for Na'Vi to get out of a bad fight after the yeah. BKBs are expire. And here we have it. Secret with the smoke. Who can they find? Old General. They're going to be able to go on him. The Fisher grabbing him just on the tip and with an Omni Slash from Ace Generals down again. That really was just on the edge of the it, I mean, it looked like it didn't even reach him, to be fair. I, I, I honestly clicked on Yapsa yeah. and I was like, wait, is he 20 for the extra Fisher range? And then he, no, he, it just was perfect. And Fada has queued up a Hex too, so they're getting just more luxury items, but ways to catch. Oh no, General. Straight out of the fight. He's destroyed. Ah! Position defensively. Everybody kind of sticking together. I mean, can Na'Vi... Can they this, grab Ace it here? It seems so impossible for Na'Vi, but it would be amazing to see them pull something big off. Can they do it? Yap Store. Shadow Blades in. Dispels the smoke. Blinks out. And Fight now Na'Vi... They've in. just got to get out of there. Again, a lasso onto a Lotus Orb. Mid one just moves into the center of it all with the eye of the storm. So Nako's already down. Crystallize is trying to find Fada. Should get the Omni Knight. He does do so, but the Echo Slam from Yabstor indeed is a GG Echo Slam as it wipes them next to the creep wave. And this game, as I said, it just looked like it was slid further and further away from Na'Vi straight from minute one. There was just no no point in this game where it realistically looked like Na'Vi had a chance. Yeah, it, look at the laning.